Dear students, now we are going to discuss the basics of satellite communication. Let's start with an introduction. What is meant by satellite? Satellite is a smaller object that revolves around a larger object in space. For example, natural satellite moon revolves around the earth. Correct? Similarly, we can make artificial satellites for certain applications. So now we are going to discuss satellite communication. Satellite communication plays a vital role in global telecommunication system. So in this, the communication takes place between any two earth stations through communication satellite. So what is mean by communication satellite? It is an artificial satellite which is used to provide the communication links between various points on earth. So this is the basic diagram. So here the satellite communication consists of three parts. One is uplink, transponder, downlink. Okay. So here uplink is the channel through which here the signal is transmitted from earth station to satellite. Similarly, downlink is the channel through which the signal is transmitted from the satellite to earth station. So what is the role of transponder here? Transponder is nothing but the transmitter and responder. It is going to perform both transmission and reception. So it consists of radio receivers and transmitters and also the amplifiers. So it is going to receive the signal from this uplink that is from the earth station and going to strengthen the signal and transmit the signal from satellite to at the station. Do you all understand this concept? So here the first satellite is Sputnik 1. So world's first satellite Sputnik 1 was launched by the Soviet Union in the year 1957. India launched the first satellite Arya Pata in the year 1975. Okay. Here the communication satellite transmits the radio telecommunication signal via transponder between two earth stations. Transponder consists of radio receivers, transmitters and amplifiers. It amplifies the incoming signal and changes its frequency for downlink. Then the uplink is the channel through which the signal is transmitted from earth station to satellite. Okay. So here the uplink frequency is the frequency of the signal sent into the space. Okay, it is the frequency of the transmitted signal from earth station to space. So next one is downlink. It is the channel through which the signal is transmitted from satellite to earth station. So here the downlink frequency is the frequency at which the earth station receiving the signal from satellite. Okay, so we have to ensure that the uplink frequencies are always higher than the downlink frequency because we are having the provisions at this ground station to transmit a very high frequency range. But in space, the satellite doesn't have that much provision to send the high frequency signal. That's why we have to ensure that the uplink frequency is higher than the downlink frequency. Okay, so next. The example for communication satellite is Indian National Satellite, simply INSAT. It is one of the largest domestic communication satellite system placed in geostationary orbit. Okay. Next, applications of satellite communication. Satellite communication plays a vital role in global telecommunication system. It is mainly used in radio and TV broadcasting. It provides internet applications such as GPS, data transfer, internet surfing, etc. So it can also be used in weather forecasting applications, military applications and navigations, remote sensing applications, disaster management, rescue operations, etc. Okay. So these are the major areas of the satellite communication. So next advantages of satellite communication. So here every corner of the earth can be covered. We can communicate with anyone in the world through this satellite communication. It uses maximum bandwidth. It provides broadband service. So it is reliable also. It, the communication can be done over 
longer distance in the earth okay so next the disadvantages of satellite communication it is a very costlier process very expensive the installation that is what very expensive one here the interference or congestion of frequencies is the major drawback it has more free space loss since the signal is transmitting through free space so here it is very difficult to provide repairing activities okay